Hey YouTube, I'm Brett. And I'm Brad. I'm going to do a comprehensive Infernoid guide. This is going to be a massive series actually. It's going to span several videos. Uh, I just won a regional with these, went undefeated. And it was in Nashville. It was the day after Nats. They have a series of small regionals where you can get your invite to next year's Nationals. And I entered with Infernoids and beat out a lot of Necros and Cleaves. And I really love the deck, so I figured I was going to do this massive thing just to explain why I think it's one of the coolest decks that's ever been made. Uh, I'm going to cover everything starting from what each Infernoid card is, and then I'm going to get into more how you build a deck with them, how you play them, how you go first with them and go second with them, which are two very different things. So there's a lot to this deck. This is a very skill-based deck. Uh, a lot of people would disagree, and I'm going to explain why it actually is a very skillful deck even though there is some common misconceptions, mainly because reasoning exists. But uh, it is actually a very skill-based deck, and I'm going to hopefully show that to you guys over the course of the series. So this first video is actually just going to be telling you what each Infernoid does and kind of explaining it to people who might not know. A lot of you should know. Uh, going into Nats, actually, I won a lot of matches because people thought they knew what each of these did, and because they didn't read the entire card or read it incorrectly... They lost to me because, yeah, just a lack of awareness, which, so at the very least, I'd watch this one just to be totally aware what each of these is capable of. I had people pick up their decks when they thought I could win, even though I actually couldn't win that turn. So it's probably good to listen to this, even if you think you know everything about them. All right, so there are actually three tiers of Infernoid monsters. There are the, I call them the babies, which are levels one through four. There are the demi-bosses, which are levels 5 through 8. And then there are the boss bosses, which are a 9 and a 10. So I'm going to start with the babies. Uh, so, as you may or may not know, all Infernoids can only be special summoned by their effect currently. Um, so this means they cannot be special summoned by any other way or normal summon. Uh, the effect for the babies is to... When they're in your hand, you can remove one other Infernoid card from your hand or your graveyard to special summon them. And they can only active, or they can only do this special summon. It is an inherent special summon, so it uh, can't be Chain Maxi to... Uh, Thunder King can negate Thunder, it. Can't, Thunder King can negate it, things like that. Uh, they can't flip Vanity in response to the summon. So, or to stop the summon. So it's an inherent summon. All of them are inherent. Uh, so you can summon them by banishing one Infernoid from your hand or graveyard when the total level of all effect monsters on the field is eight... On your side of the field. Yeah, is eight or less. And level actually includes rank two. So if you had a level five and a rank three, you could ha you would be a total of eight, which means you could summon one more thing before your rank would be greater than eight, and you cannot summon another Infernoid until you either reduce the number or trick the system, which I will do in another video. Um, So... The babies are unique in that they are the only ones that can special from the hand. Just only, from the hand. Just yeah. from the hand. Uh, so then each Infernoid has two effects. Uh, and one of their effects is shared among their uh, tier, and the other is unique to each one. So I'm just going to go over each unique effect quickly. Uh, Infernoid Pyramus, the level one has the effect of you can target one set card your opponent controls, shuffle it into the deck. The targeted card cannot be activated in response. So this is like Night Beam, if you know Night, Be Night Beam's ruling. Uh, it doesn't allow the targeted card to respond, but non-targeted cards can respond. Um, so the next one is Infernoid Entra, which can target one face-up card your opponent controls, return it to the hand. Um, next is Infernoid Harmedic. Level 3 is 1600 attack. You can target one monster. So this is a monster you or your opponent control. It can destroy either. These two have to target an opponent's card, whereas these two can target you or your opponent's card. So he'll target one monster on the field, destroy it, and then he cannot attack this, the turn he activates his effect. Uh, Inferno Patrula, 1800, can target a spell that you or your opponent controls, destroy it, and he cannot attack the turn spell he activates trap. his effect. Spell or trap. Face down or face up, doesn't matter. Alright. Um, next, their unique effect, shared among the four of them, 
or their non-unique effect, I guess. Uh, during your opponent's turn, this is a quick play effect, you can tribute one monster for cost, then to target one card in your opponent's graveyard, banish it. So they all have a spell speed 2 effect where they can tribute themselves or any other monster you control, including a token that is allowed to be tributed, and banish something. So it's a really, really awesome effect. Uh, very, very disruptful to most of the current meta decks. And again, I'm just telling you the effects right now. I'll explain them in more detail later. So that is the babies. The demi bosses, there's actually one missing from here. It is the level 6, and it is so bad that I actually didn't think it deserved to be put in here. Um, require you to banish two cards to summon them. And these are actually different from the uh, babies, and then that they can actually be summoned from your hand, or if they're in the graveyard, through this effect. So they can revive themselves by banishing two Infernoids from your graveyard or from your hand or a mixture of the two. Alright. So, Infernoid Piety's effect, and this card is also currently not that good either. Uh, specifically because of Unicorn having 2300 attack and most builds won't actually run this. But well, we'll um, go into matchups later. We'll go into that later. But his effect is if he attacks a monster, at the uh, after that you can discard one random card your opponent controls. Or I mean in your opponent's hand, sorry. Um, see it moss as if this card attacks an opponent's monster. At the end of the battle phase, you can activate this effect, which is to banish one card on the field. It is non-targeting, like Trish. Um, Infernoid Antidel says that if it attacks an opponent's monster by battle, and sends it to the graveyard, it can attack again. This is once per turn, so it can only attack up to twice. Um, now, uh, the last thing is their tier effect, which is a spell speed 2 effect that says... During either player's turn, you can tribute one monster for cost to target one card in your opponent's graveyard, banish it. So it's similar to the babies, except that it can be activated during either player's turn. So And only once per turn. And only once per turn. Well, same with the babies. Same, yeah. Finally, we have the two bosses, and these ones are actually slightly different. Um, so they require three tributes to summon, three or banish. three banishes from your hand, graveyard, or make sure the two to special summon them from your hand or graveyard, so they can also revive themselves. Both of these, in addition to having uh, that summoning, have an on-summon effect. Uh, Infernoid Deviate says that when this card is summoned, you can destroy all spell and trap cards on the field, except for Void, which is their unique spells. They have some uh, unique uh, archetype continuous spell and traps, so it'll destroy all other spell and traps on the field face down and face up, except for void cards. Um, but it will destroy face down void cards. It will destroy face down, yes. That is a very good thing to mention, because it can not recognize as a void card. Um, Infernoid Anuku's on summon effect is to destroy all other monsters on the field. Both of these are optional. That's a very important thing to remember. Um, so you can optionally activate either of these. Uh, and then they each have their own unique effect for their other effect, too. Uh, Infernoid Deviate says that when an effect monster's effect activates, this can be anywhere at all, uh, you can tribute one monster for cost to negate the activation and banish it. Infernoid Anuku says when a spell trap or spell trap effect activates its effect, you can tribute one card for cost to negate the activation and banish it. So this actually is a very unique card. I'm just going to mention this. It can negate things like Clifford Scout after it's been on the field and it's using its pay 800, it can negate that in addition to just negating the activation of Scout, which a lot of cards are actually unable to do. So that is the current monsters for the Infernoid lineup. There's a few traps and a few spells. Uh, most of the traps I currently don't believe are worth using. This could change after um, the new support, but for right now I figured I'd just show you the two that I find uh, worth mentioning at all. Um, the reason I say this is uh, the traps can only be used in pure Infernoid decks and they send themselves to the graveyard if you have any non-Infernoids. And that really kind of messes with the deck, I think. I think they need to have synergy with other archetypes. Currently, at least. Um, so, currently. That could switch, though. So, don't hold me to that. Uh, these are the two I thought are worth mentioning. And actually, specifically, this is the only one that's actually worth mentioning. This card is amazing. This is a uh, Forbidden Lands on Steroids. It's target one Inferno monster you control. Um, the targeted card is unaffected by your opponent's card effects for the rest of the turn. So it makes 
them literally completely invincible to anything your opponent does except for destroy them by battle. And a lot of them are really huge, so that's never actually a problem. Um, it also has an awesome graveyard effect, uh, which is if an Inferno monster you control would be destroyed by a card effect, you can, as the card is resolving, banish this card instead of destroying the monster you choose to save. So you don't have to activate that at time of, like, when they activate you, Torrential? You would activate it at the resolution? This actually, yeah, it doesn't actually activate. It just banishes as, like, a conditional thing. But it so is also not, optional, so you don't have to use it's op- it. Yep, it's optional. And uh, it actually can't be negated unless there's something that says things like... I don't think you can even interrupt the chain like that. Yeah, you so. can Yeah, this thing is actually a really great card. Spell Canceler would be the I mean, one thing that comes to mind. Spell Canceler and maybe Skill Drain, but I don't even know if that would do it. Skill Drain? Soul Drain. Soul Drain. But that only right. negates monsters. Oh, it does, doesn't yeah. it? So, yeah. <laughs> Literally only Spell Cancer shouldn't... So, yeah, you don't need to worry about the second effect of that getting stopped ever. This card is also pretty cool. Uh, I don't use it right now, but I plan to in the future, especially once the new support comes out. You can discard one card, add one Infernoid Spell Trap from your deck to your hand. Which are named Void Spell per- Traps. We yeah. have Void. Uh, this can also include Void Trap Hole, interestingly enough. Uh, you can only activate this once per turn, I believe, and you cannot summon any monsters for the rest of the turn except Infernoids. Um, then it also has a second effect of if an Infer- Infernoid battles an opponent's monster. You can send this to the graveyard to banish both of them, so it turns any Infernoid into like a DD warrior lady, kind of. After damage calculation. After damage yes. calculation. So that is the Infernoid support, uh, archetype support. So next I'm actually going to go into... Uh, some of the basic plays with the Infernoids. That'll be next video, I believe. Yep. Because we're pretty much at time now. All right. So hope you guys continue watching the series and have a great day. See ya.